three minutes. Uh, but good comms. Good comms. Thank you, homies. Or the capital H. Capital H, homies. All right. So as far as um, what I noticed, because I double checked and went through their VOD from two weeks ago. Well, yeah. Week one. Because they were on a they they were on GG leaks mm -hmm. two weeks ago, right? Yeah. These dudes are running just a ridiculous amount of sim junk Rhine's Aria. Okay. And pretty much every single time they've TP straight onto point. Obviously, I've relayed that to the team because. Uh, Very quickly, yeah. Um. Which. It worked for them in that game. Um, I'm we not do have a bingo card. Sure. We do. We have a bingo card for this week. Right. Shout out to um, Landon for making these yep. each week. Wonderful guy. Um, and it worked for them last week. Uh, a lot of more disorganized teams get really, really caught up by sim TPs to point. Mm -hmm. Because it's in, instead of a ramp up of aggression, it's pretty much on or off then on immediately. Yeah, it's just very quickly just everyone starts uh I love this stream. Thanks, Reese. You know, it's a very quick just start right off the rip, and so it's kind of mm -hmm. uh jolting um, or staggering. At the same time, it's if that's the only thing they rely on, which I didn't have a very big sample size as far as times where they weren't playing that comp. Yeah. They only were forced off it once or twice, but they kinda crumbled whenever they were. Okay, so um so kind we of one trick it down. Ye not necessarily one trick. We can, but I mean, pretty close. I like, we can check out some of them while we're waiting mm -hmm. for the game to start. So we can see this is current competitive. We're just gonna go all modes. Very high hours in Ana. Yeah, this to this else. was this was the Ana player. Let I'll let you it. control it. Avoid this. Vermilion <laughs> was I want to say a Zari one trick. Yeah, they were a Zari okay. one trick. Uh, Moom Young was a Ryan one trick. Literally only played Ryan and yeah. That shows. No, no, he, he has 26 minutes in Junkrat. Come on. Um, <laughs> so, Hidden, I don't I want to say, was the one that played a lot of Torb and a lot of Junk. Go um, to, uh, yes, yeah, there you go. Okay. Not necessarily what they play in comp is going to be what they play in game. Yeah, that's fair. But it was just, I don't know, it was really something really odd to see because I wasn't surprised to see it on the first point that, no, don't invite my... I don't know why they invited my <laughs> Um Come on, you want you all watch, right? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and, and it's a very standard setup for the, the first map that they played was Lijong Night Market, where you TP directly to the window directly on point. And it's a very standard setup because Symmetra is really strong on that area with the right um um it's really strong with the right comp around it, and it's mm -hmm. very hard to push into, especially for more disorganized teams. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> um, and with that, it, obviously that was like, okay, it's weird. Not everybody plays it, but a lot of people do. What's up, Joey? But then you started to see it on every map, um, mm -hmm. which was kind of funny. So they just are really just seem, at least from the VODs we have, seem like one tricks. Yeah, and uh, obviously I'm personally not one to SR shame, considering... Uh, diamond and sr is bs anyway um but that's really common for lower sr average teams um that mm -hmm. they do they do one thing quite well um i used to coach a roughly 2.1 2.2k team probably okay. about a year and a half ago that's like um, uh diamond level right no gold. is that gold? Low gold. gold okay high silver low gold um oh, and no, sorry, man. <laughs> it was Something I noticed quite often with them is that they did one specific thing at a time very, very well, but then the second something was thrown into the wrench, or a wrench was thrown into the works of that, now they kind of didn't know what to do. Yeah, so something that's important would be like being able to just very quickly have a change. Like being able to change your mindset and change what you want mm -hmm, to be doing at that moment. Being adaptable. Yeah. Um, and that was something that worked a lot with them, and it got a lot better actually pretty quickly. And it's something that as long as you have somebody looking out for it. Yeah. It's something Burr. that most teams are able to fix pretty quickly, at least in my experience. Um, at the same time, I was also very lucky to be working with the people I wor was. They were all they all worked so hard, and yeah, I'm still friends sure. with most of them, even though I haven't t coached that team in a year and a half. Do you know? Like, was it like a competitive team? Yeah, the, we were in uh, the um, Overwatch Community Cup. It started off as Overwatch Little League. Yeah. Um, but then they got feared of lawsuits whenever Overwatch League started up, rightfully so. It is Blizzard. 
Um, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> um, so it was a relatively lower SR. Uh, gen- most teams, most of the higher teams were mid plat. Yeah. Justice um, ain't gonna dispense. It. So you know, it was. Um, it was an interesting what? experience. I actually played on a team in that uh, league for quite a while before doing this. For sure. Right, what, do you think, so, what do you think about our current comp? So our current comp is going to be double bubble with the far. The far is specifically designed in order to punish the, um, uh, what's it called? The sim pick. Where is it? Why is it not letting me? Okay. I was saying, I, it was not letting me do anything so, last week either. So I understand. Thank you, Ralph. <laughs> so the general idea of double bubble here is... You're going to be playing a little bit more split. Um, As we it's see, not dive. Probably. It's not dive, but it's not quite brawl. It's kind of weird. And a lot of it is poke and throw. Ultimate. And as you see, they had the sim. They TP directly to the point. Yeah, as you predicted. Isaac there, pro zone, getting a really, really good pick there on the nice. That's going to be heavily helping them push in. Let's and you'll see Isaac. Ty in the Winston here. Again, he's mainly going to be poking and just applying pressure without putting himself into too much game. Yeah. And while they've given up the point, they're setting up for a really good push here. See, the sim, though, that's a... Absolutely massive anti there. That was very nice. Absolutely huge from who even was that? That was play. And you're gonna be seeing uh Ty, you're gonna be seeing pretty much rest of the team building up picking this crap. Which right there, that was a great push from CMO, really helped us to get that point. And now we're hopefully gonna be able to see if they are a little bit less experienced and like kind of have only like a few tricks, maybe we'll see them just kind of try to make quick pushes and mm-hmm. That's what I'm personally expecting. Okay. Uh, you're going to be seeing us have uh, Mercy's ult here, which is just mainly going to be helping us defend at the beginning. Yeah, sure. They still have the teleporter up there, but that's going to get this bad pretty quickly. We do have the barrage, which is going to be very, very key here. It's going to make it very difficult for them to push in. The second they walk in, I'm expecting us to barrage and just at least get one. Which, frankly, while defending this point is more than enough. Yeah, that's true. There's a TP onto the back of the point. We'll see it, if the... Uh, that was just a distract, I believe. That would have been a very t- stupid TP to go through. Yeah, especially having a lot of the people who can kind of boop off the edge. And, just boop and there's off. there's that barrage I was talking about. That's going to be the fight. They don't need to invest anymore. No. Looks like they're going to try to get the last two picks that they need just to mm-hmm. really now, cut everything. Generally speaking with double yes, bubble... Yes, Raleigh. The there is a stream delay. Yes. I'm going to go type in chat so that you'll stop. So... Yes. Three minutes. With, with double bubble, the, the sort of main <laughs> line, the main line composition with double bubble is Winston, Zarya, Sombra, Echo, or Tracer, usually Echo. Ooh, that's going to be a great pick from Isaac right off the bat. He's just going to be farming that ultimate again while hoping to get picks. Um, so so how, the, how many of our uh, players are like pretty versed in like a bunch of different that, heroes yeah. versus their kind of more one tricks. So Ty Noblin is quite adept at both Ball and Ryan mm-hmm. in his, um, or not Ball, uh, Winston and Ryan, and his Ball's not half bad either. Um, Alberto's quite good at the Zarya, honestly. Yeah. We, uh, it's always really fun watching your Zarya because you're so good at keeping that charge every single time. Zarya like is, cop. for the longest time, is by far and away my favorite hero. You're yeah. gonna be watching Isaac here. That's another massive anti. Wow. Mm. We're going to have to reset here. That was a good and we did use a lot of ults. That was a very good high noon. So, most of our players actually have a relatively wide hero pool while still being very good at only a couple certain heroes. So, okay. th- they've specialized a lot of them in certain heroes. Whereas they're not, you know, they're definitely not bad at a lot of the others. So, it looks like it's a nice mix. Grand Valley, Great Valley, where they've being a little aggressive right now, not really trying mm-hmm. to less leave or spawn too much. We were kind of letting them push more than they are letting us push right now. And of it. that's the name of the game at Double Bubble. You can't be as aggressive. You don't have as much frontline presence, or yeah. at least direct frontline presence. Um, playing the far here instead of an a Sombra is, um, again, it was a direct choice in response to the fact that they run a lot of sim. It's very difficult um, to pressure a pharmacy whenever you have a sim on your comp because you're pretty much leaving it only up to the one other DPS player in the hit team. You might be able to get that res off. However, I'd like to see us just back off here. We have one more fight. I say we have the time for sure to just wait for our uh, mm-hmm. tanks to come back. And we'll have Barrage. We'll have Valk. Um, we'll also have get him Primal cream. here pretty soon. <laughs> I'm going to be really focusing on Isaac here because he's going to be looking for a cheeky pick or two. Yeah. He's doing good holding Ooh, these that's certain angles. going to be heavily detrimental. Though. Ooh, mm. that's just so he much damage. He didn't check for the turrets, and that sort of just melted him. Because that is really going to be that's quite an issue. We do have a ult here. Angry Monkey. 
Yeah, we're gonna need to be seeing some people touch here. Touch Aaron to pop off here and I'm not gonna yeah. I'm gonna see what happens. We do have that a was... change. It's kinda weird. From pharmacy over to soldier. Mm -hmm. In order to just get back to the point yeah. a bit quicker. So that was simply um not checking for the turrets there. Had he checked oh, for the turrets, he probably cast? Yes you do. <laughs> Uh, had he checked for the turrets, been able to dispatch them, he probably would have gotten that kill on that Farah or Zarya. He, he was survive. very close to getting quite a few of them. It was just took him out way too quickly with that car wash. And that's sort of the crux of the symmetric comp here. Yeah. Is if it can even if you're shutting it down for most of them, it can sword. still sneak back up on you. Yeah, you gotta be really attentive to it because it's something that you don't really think about until it's like you know. So we're gonna be running into you. a lot more of a brawl comp here. Very close, very in your face. Uh, what map are we on right now? It's going to be control center. I'm pretty sure this one's control center. I always get mixed yeah. up with individual uh, names on uh, Legion. So the whole name of the game of this comp is getting up close, up close, and personal. Yeah. And just pumping out a crap ton of damage uh, while having a crap ton of sustain, which is what you're breaking that piece of I'm very excited to be seeing a Junkrat pick. Uh, I just really love Junkrat for no great reason. I just really think he's fun. And they're going to be running a Junk board this time without the Sim. Ethan was able to get an early pick on the Lucio. They're only going to be having the Moira heals, which will run out very quickly against our comp. What's However, that? he needs to play safe himself. And those two kills, that should be more than enough. To push them off, yeah, especially since it was some of their bigger players. Both their tanks going down. So you're not going to be able to do a lot without them now, at the end of the day. The really important thing here is obviously Shatter is obviously a great ultimate. Mm -hmm. However, the fact that Clay's coming up on that window, garage door nowadays, really, yeah. is going to let Ty get a one shot. Pretty much anyone he wants, provided he can hit the fire strike, as that fire strike has 200 damage to as it doubles all the damage. That's going to be what they're going to be looking for here, I would presume. Gamers, what's up, Raleigh? Why are you here? Why are you working, bud? You should be vacationing. They're really not pushing in. We're just pumping a lot more to stand down. That's there. I think we're just kind of vibing while we can. And Ty's holding that fire strike for two reasons. One, he doesn't want to do more damage because he has his bolt. He doesn't want to feed their support bolt card. Yeah. And two, he's holding it for our window. He's going to shatter here. So we do hear a uh, Junkrat ult Ooh, on their half. I'm very they surprised Ty didn't shatter. They need to not use anything here. They just need to stall, stay alive as long as possible, get as much percent as they can. Oh, but now it is winnable with that. Eh, never I like it. Cast is first. <laughs> if you that shatter, die, don't you do it. Ooh. So we got an extra 20% there that we really probably shouldn't have after losing this. But I will take that. Now we're going to get a nice reset, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And look at our ults. We're going to be having pretty much everything other than tire. Yeah. And there's a lot that we can do with this. Um, if we wanted to basically ensure that we decide to destroy them, a grab, window fire strike, pretty much takes out half their team immediately. Again, it's 200 damage from that fire strike yeah. plus any other damage that's getting doubled through it. Ethan's going on a bit of a flank here. Not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I think it's it going to be good. It if, he, if he gets up, this would be really good. Good immortality there to keep us up. That's However, really good immortality. Uh, that Torber ult was a lot on them. I'm not sure what Ethan's doing in the flank here. He really needs to be playing with our team. It looks like he's trying to regroup with them right mm. now. I think, I, I think he's up. noticed and he said, nah. It's a lot that's easier a to hold idea, the left think, click but in their general direction. Uh, that's why I love jump grab. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and here's where I'm going to be expecting to see that shatter. That's a big shatter coming out. Zarya should die here. Get very close. Ooh, that's It's a little bit too no. much aggression. Punch. <laughs> And yeah, that was just a little bit too much aggression. He sort of overestimated how long he'd stay alive against the Torb Ash. Um, they're going to be pumping so much damage into him. His hitbox is so big, especially his head hitbox. It is good now. Uh, Ty is back, as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, I don't know nice why they haven't done the window fire strike yet. They've had it for Are about a minute and a half. Here's where it is, probably. There. They hit this should be a free oh, yeah. fight win. Yep. There was. That's the issue, though, is very that we used everything but two old. Or one ult, but we're going to be coming up on two more, sorry. Yeah, I'll say, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not too bad, though. 
And to win that fight, we really needed to because they're at 97. Yeah, we really didn't you, have the you time definitely want to secure it here. Now, they didn't use B, which is a bit of an issue here. There's a very good chance that our tire does nothing. He needs to pop it pretty early here, just zone them out. Buy time for a break to get rolled as well as our uh, McCree. I'm guessing that's what he's going to be. No? There's Bob. I did not even realize that uh, they had picked her. We keep it above. Yeah, the Ash has been silently very doing a lot passive. of work, though. It's been silent, but she's been doing the work. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't tire at the beginning. We... There right it is. Now. And that's huge. That's huge. Very big. That's going to be the pills. map right there. That's a very good job. I think we found out why they didn't use it there. <laughs> <laughs> There's the Ash. And the stun to that map. Very good. You know, especially with King of the Hill maps like this, the there's a lot you can get away with that isn't the technically best thing to do. Yeah. Personally, I would have tired at the beginning there purely because it allows your Brig and allows your McCree to build their ults. That said, obviously we're holding on to it. And there's a lot more chaos, especially on that map with the junk trap that you can pull off. I'm guessing we're going to be running the Farah here again. This is an incredibly strong Farah map, and this is where they're going to be mainly going for this MTP to point. However, it's not looking like it. So it's not looking like we're changing. Oh, there's the ball. He's going to the ball. Which makes sense on this, doesn't it? Because there's a lot of food. Okay. Oh, no. They were, they were just switching. Oh, it's like this they isn't the comp. This isn't the comp? This is not a comp. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're running. It, it could now. work. It could very well work. Uh, it's a bit ambitious. He knows their entire team's going to be there. I say, uh, but Ty does, or not Ty, it's simply now, does back him up. Mm -hmm. I think the goal with there was that they knew they were running the Sem, so getting the monkey down to just get rid of those turrets was going to be huge. And this comp could very easily work. Simply he's doing a good job of building his ult. He's already halfway yeah. to it, a little over. And he's going to be having a lot of support and a lot of AoE healing. And he's already 90% to it. They should be just fine, although we have had to use our Baptiste on the top. It's that is a ballsy pin, and I love to That's see it. Oh, nice. my goodness. That was great. Oh. Let's go. Asserting his dominance yes, early sir, here. Yes, Alberto. <laughs> you love to see it. Monkey wanted that Pharaoh, bro. <laughs> hey, those are some of the most satisfying kills to get. Oh, okay, Simply. What you doing, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Hey, he's doing the work, apparently. <laughs> You know, huge. honestly, honestly, no matter what happens, if we can force them off the sim, I consider it a win. Yeah, no. I mean, it does that not means look we've broken their spirit. <laughs> You're going to be seeing that. They the have word. seen a... Sorry to cut you off, but we are just seeing a very similar comp, as you mentioned, we probably mm -hmm. would be. They have not really changed a whole ton. They they're have running, switched over to a pharmacy That's it, they're playing pharmacy now, which, which is different. is interesting with the sim. Yeah. Not necessarily bad, it's just interesting. We do have the fire strike, window fire strike, which I would love to see come out right now. As they're walking down that way, it's a narrow corridor. That would be huge. Although it seems like we've... There it is. And that's gotten the Moira. See, the, one of the biggest something. issues with this far is that it's going to split your attention a lot. Um, sometimes for me right there, which is going to allow that free shatter. Because he had his back turned. Kai is getting a little bit thirsty, getting a little hungry there. He wants that far dead, bro. I'm telling you. The monkey will not rest. <laughs> and the sim just use gold for some reason. Yeah, that was an interesting ult. I have a hard time believing it wasn't a misclick. So that was one of the, it probably wasn't. Um, that was one of the things that I had a struggle at the very beginning when I was coaching that team. Struggled a lot is people ulting whenever the fight's already over. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people, especially as they're newer to the game, don't necessarily have the attention, not necessarily attention span over presence of mind to also check the kill feed at all. Oh. You need to have like that in your peripheral vision so they won't Little notice Little monkey ult said. when we weren't really Ooh. ready for it. Ooh, nah, he's, he knows what he's doing. Never mind, he's not going They could have done a lot more of that though. That's a big pick on the Mercy. Yeah. That's, that's a good shatter provided can get the kill. Oh, he misses the fire shot even bigger. That's huge. That's it's just a turn of events. It's emotional roller coaster there. That's it by the looks of it. <laughs> this could be a great 3K. Team kill. Field. Let's go. But that's going to be a great map. Y'all will answer in three minutes. Uh, we now just won that set. Mm -hmm. Like that poop map. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, sure. <laughs> hmm. of the game. Watch POTG. Yeah, watch POTG. I need to get a drink. Go for it. Well, okay. okay. Oh, this is the 3k high noon from there. That was yeah. a really good high noon. It was. Um, 
and there's with that grab, there's pretty much nothing you can do. Um, yeah. I think we'd already used the mortality field, which sort of seals it. Or it had gotten broken when we used it earlier. A lot of healing. Jeez. That first map, first map, again, a lot of um, exhausted coach Larson. <laughs> Commentator Larson slipping that to happens exhausted a lot. coach. Um, <laughs> uh, what map do you think we're going to be seeing next? Is it decided so or is it picked? It's loser picks from a map pool. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Um, you know, like, oh, so you don't know the pool. Um, I primal because remember. they threw TP, but we broke it first. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so you thought they were going to be were coming. Gonna, yeah. yeah, that's why I thought it happened because I saw efficient. they broke the TP mm -hmm. as he popped it, and I was like, and they just kind of looked frantically around, and I was like, "Oops." <laughs> but Flake good stuff. Scary, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's a couple of times where Tyna will go into quick play, just be a bit of goons. Um, of course, of course. And one of us will run Mercy, the other will run Brig, and the Mercy will just pocket the Brig. It's honestly terrifying. Because <laughs> you have a Brig that's doing like 60 damage for swing and then just doesn't die. All right, well, if you want to grab your drink, yep. I'm going to pull up our X's for the uh, the bingo card because I need to go re-download it. It's in my downloads, I think. I just have to find it. Here's the X's. All right, well, did we get anything? I've probably messed up a word. We're just going to give the free... Blow it up, yeah. I'm just gonna instead throw it up. Ah, look at that. Right there. So, so what did we get, sir? Let's see here. Double bubble. Double the double shield. Uh, first column. Oh, found it. Yep. Okay. Let go. Let's see. I wasn't paying attention enough to see if a shatter got blocked. I don't think I don't so. Remember, there weren't that many shatters. I feel like. No subs yet. No BM, no Widow Duel. Really not that much. Rush Comp, though. Well, oh, Pharmacy. Yeah, we had a Pharmacy. That really wasn't Rush Comp. Rush Comp does entail a Lucio, usually. Um, mm -hmm. It's a bit of a difference. It's, they it's, had a Rush Comp. Did they Did they have a Lucio, Ryan? They didn't have a Lucio, but they had just, like, the Rush to point with Sam. So you could consider comp, it. Rush Comp is, generally speaking, Ryan, Zarya, and then a Lucio. The okay. rest don't really matter. The idea is that you basically just press W into their team. Yeah. Um. Anything else? I, I don't think so. Hmm, apparently they're going to start selling GTA Online standalone. That's makes good, sense. though. That makes, uh, sense. that makes a lot of sense. Because a lot of people just don't care about the story, which I can't Is, blame them for. Oh, I actually really love it. I love it. Mode. No, yeah. I, I get that, but I'm saying I can't blame them for not caring about it. Mm -hmm. Like, GTA Online is just essentially a game of its own that people buy the whole game for. Oh, absolutely. The story is wonderful, though. I played mm -hmm. through it... Uh, twice basically because i played through like almost all of it mm -hmm. then my save got corrupted and so i just left it for like mm -hmm. a year and then came back i was very sad about my save being corrupted let's see here so Widow from pick. simo here we're gonna be i believe what are we even doing are okay we? we're gonna be defending here so ethan's widow is very interesting and i mean that in a good way <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes sometimes there are occasions where he just does not hit shit. But there's also occasions where this dude is just cracked out of his mind and will not miss a shot. Um, it's a little bit iffy seeing it come out on the defense because he can't quickly switch it. However, if he's feeling confident in him, I always love to let him play. That's fair. Um, beyond that, the rest of the comp is very up close and personal. Um, it's another brawl comp directly there. Um, we do see Eclipse coming in very late by the looks of it. it looks like. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. I think he's already back. Let's go ahead and watch Ethan here. Ooh, Ooh. gets the headshot, but he's not gonna be able to finish the kill. He needs to change his attention. And Clay falling, that's gonna be a lot less healing. However, with that kill onto the Hanzo, we should be able to stabilize here. They have less healing overall, even with us only having the bat. Um, Lucio's biggest utility is the speed, and by far and away. I need to kill him, sorry. That would be huge. There, and it was and there, look at that, and Ethan's going to be popping off, showing the power of Reaper, showing the fact that Blizzard has no clue what they're doing whenever they're buffing heroes, because Reaper's about to get another buff. Is he? Don't ask me. I, I thought he just got nerfed. Uh, he got changed to where he does less damage to tanks, but more damage to squishies. And now they're going to be buffing his damage outright. Basically, they decrease yeah, the I, damage, but they decrease the spread as well. I, said, I thought I saw the decreased damage and decreased spread. Mm -hmm. I thought that was a nerf. Uh, it's because you're hitting more pellets than you were on the squishies. Okay. And smaller heroes, so it's more of a consistency, consistency in general. Yeah. Oh. Bonking his head a bit. That, that hurt. hurt. That hurt. That's gonna be a big so, shatter. 
That's gonna be Zarya falling. That's Hopefully nice. somebody else. Hanzo Ooh. kill, please. 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 Ethan, no. Please. Ethan, hit a please. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Second when you switch to him, he just starts missing. He got scared. It's okay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and look um, at our ults here, which is pretty much everything but our BAP and our uh, Rhino ult. Yeah, Rhino did use his, uh, as we just saw. <laughs> Shake it a bit. Shake and bake. Can, uh, can I ask? Uh, I'm going to just say something. I want your, uh, your thoughts. Mm -hmm. Two CP. Not as bad as most people say, but it's still bad. Okay. And it depends on the specific map. That's fair. I'm personally a big fan of a new. They had actually. Lucio on first point. Okay. So. All right, they have Lucio. Dude, this, now. Is, this is going to be a rush comp. This is. Oh, we'll get that. Ethan. Oh my goodness, we missed it. He just got two. How did I miss that? No one can hide from my sight. Let's see if he can get another one. Ah, he thought he was already peeking that. Oh. But he was still behind the wall. Do I want to see him go for like the jump? Oh. I think that's what he's doing. Oh. Yeah, he hit his head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little tap. See, here's the thing, though. You don't necessarily need to be getting kills every second in order to be putting a lot of pressure yeah. on the enemy as uh, Widow. Hundred percent. Uh, and we are gonna see. Oh, him. just barely. <laughs> Hopefully, you can survive this. Just turn on him. Ooh, gonna need a miracle yeah, one shot nah. directly to the face. Oh, we're gonna uh, see. Chandler needs to just leave. Yeah. Or just melt him. There we go. He did have his TZ immortality field, so that is a little bit of We have used a lot here. That was a good little shatter. Including rally. That's a good counter shatter from Ty. He can keep the healing up. Don't know how I feel about that boss in there. I don't think it was necessary. However, um, in order to I secure mean, it, I'm okay with it. I say, I don't know if it was necessary, but if we can stop them from getting first CP, mm -hmm. don't even let them get the uh, the payload, that'd be huge. You know, I, I know Ty probably got a look in his eye the second they said they wanted to play on King Trail. He yeah. absolutely adores this map, as any Rhine player should. <laughs> it is the quintessential oh, Rhine Zarya map. King's Row is a... Uh, it is, yes player. it is. Everybody loves it. Kind of like how everybody loves Rhine now. That's true. Okay, that was actually pretty ooh, good. Ooh, ooh. Oh. It, Only... did, it did soften up the... Um, ooh, that, that's pretty that feels bad. I don't think we're going to be able to pull anything out, but it does look like we're going to try a little so bit. So they're going to be mainly going for ultimates here, just getting their ults back up. As they maybe trying to got stall. And just stall at that extra little bit of time. Usually it doesn't matter too much, but hey, you take what you can get. Especially if, like, you're like, anyway. if we could have, like, right Are now. Are they going for it? I mean, it makes sense. If we I don't know how I here, feel about if we, this. If we can stop them right here, that's Except just... It's going to be a 2v6, no, 1v6, but they got Shatter out. It's worth I don't know why they shattered there. Holy cow. I don't, I don't know can, why we're we still can, going in. If we can stop them is the thing, because then that's we'll the stop payload. We need to stop healing and just let him die. There's no... Are they actually going to let him get out? Oh my goodness. I don't know how they get out there. They should be dead. Nice. That's a good In a great pick. right cliff. Something that's something a lot of people, especially those that don't play Zarya, Underestimated how much damage that right click does. I can't remember yeah. the top of my head. I want to say 110 at max stretch. My Something like that. Charging. That sounds But right. it does a lot more than people expect. That's also true, though. I used to play a bit of Zarya. I really mm -hmm. enjoyed Zarya. I wasn't good at Zarya. I'm not good at this game. <laughs> but I just played it a lot. I'm at full uh, 130, I think, on here. So, you know, I'm vibing. <laughs> We're going to be having the grab up here very soon. I wouldn't be surprised to see it pretty quickly here. So I might see it just right away, unless we want to wait for another ult, try to get that uh, window. Well, there's not too terribly much besides the window fire. Which we the did just get the window. Yes. So we'll Which see is we... probably what we'll see here. I would give them a little bit of space so you get a little bit better line of sight here. Good job not dying to it. Good job utilizing it for charge, too. That's huge. Just going to be waiting for this to come through. Where's our Rhine? I said, this, this is why spectating sucks last week, because he has to uh, everything. I don't think, yeah, our F button is broken. It's probably a broken keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit interesting. I'm not sure why we didn't them. grab there. Grab would have been nice. It does look like we're trying to stall point. Just for the extra Which second, we should be able to get another contest well. here. I'd like to see Ethan switch here. I don't know why he's still so far up. But he's going to get out. I'd like to see him switch probably to a McCree here, actually. McCree or Tracer. Mm -hmm. um, just because the sight lines aren't quite as good on any of the rest of the points. 
It's a lot harder to be effective as Widow on points two and especially three. You start pushing at some point. I say it looks like they're just gonna let him take two. And we're not gonna. Oh, we last second, a last second. Point. Here comes Graf. He's looking for it. What are we? Point zero one. Please stay contesting, guys. Please. We can't push too far up. Yeah. Because we can't push out of our healers. Hello, left. I'm not sure. Though. Why do uh, we let them push so far? That was a yeah. bit odd. That feels very. Probably a bit bad. of miscommunication. There. Okay, how many people just died there? Hit tub. It was pretty much the whole thing. Nice. Well I think we got one or two of them. They've got that TP. Yeah, Ty smartly turning right back around. He doesn't want to feed them any more ult charge. Although with the tracer dropping, might be able to push him. And there it is. Ethan switching over to the tracer. Which is good. That's it what is a signature hero. Is it? Mm -hmm. Huh. Big can play that often. Because tracer is... It's a bit niche. Yeah. Ooh, good that's pretty shatter. Solid. That was, yeah, quite good, but he needs to... He needs again, to not that's something, die. That's something I get onto him a lot because we do it together. He just sort of forgets to use the shield at all whenever he shatters, so he gets anti or slept pretty much every single time. <laughs> which leads to stuff like this. That was a we, solo... No, it was grab. two. Might have been three, actually, but it was at least two. Okay. And simply high charge Zarya just showing what it can do. Right click onto the tracer could be huge. Feels bad. So we have, we, lot, we have a lot faster spawns here. It's already a 3v3. We're going to be wanting to see that death blossom, hopefully. Oh, wow. That's quite the wash. That is an interesting charge from the yeah. line there. And then he just doesn't trying die. To... Okay. There no, we go. he does, yeah. Someone was going to get a stern talking to if that Ryan survived. <laughs> 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 you break that TP. And honestly, if I'm Ethan, that's exactly what I do. Ooh, From the top nice. rope. He needs to just pop it. Do it. Yeah. From the top rope, getting at least oh, one, getting the Lucio down slapped. so low. That might be a bingo uses, slot, but I'm sad. It's fine. Uses so much resources in order to keep them from killing their entire team. And as such, you're going to be stopping them before they can. Ooh, nice little uh, double charge. Nice. We didn't let them three point. That's huge. So, let's see here. We got team kill. Or for the bingo. Yeah, we'll do it after. I said, I fear we just do it after. So I'm going to be expecting very similar comps from both teams here. It's 95 damage As in at swapping, match. or you want to see... Okay, Zarya right clicks 95 at match. Wow, idiot. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> idiot. I'm a Zarya player, you'd think. Yeah, you'd think. But apparently you don't. <laughs> Got him. I was an off-tank tra player by trade for so long. And eventually, whenever GOATS happened, I hated D.Va and GOATS. It was just not fun. What? is like like what's like the definition like who are the off tank tanks so it's it's a lot less cut and dry than it used to be mm -hmm. um which is a lot of thing which is something that a lot of people have uh struggle with so it's less of specific heroes and more um of a it, it's more of a concept so the idea of your main tank is that they take the space yeah. in a lot of forward presence they make they just basically press w push in so like ryan, ryan always Winston, always gonna be like um yeah a lot of heroes and then the, your off tank generally does a lot more close range damage and maintains the space that you make so okay. classically your main tanks are gonna be ryan winston um orissa and ball and your off tanks are gonna be the rest however we've had some really weird comps in back in our and back in the day um, we had Hog Zarya for a while, which was two off tanks. However, the Zarya. Er, that one's really hard because they both sort of fulfill the main control in that. Yeah. As weird as that sounds. Yeah. There's also a lot of times like uh, Arissa Ryan where your Ryan's sort of a. Um, where, again, because they're both main tanks, but they're also still pulling off tank rolls at the same time. It's kind of weird. Mm -hmm. They're going to be having the Torb up top. He's going to be sort of hard to damage, but he's also going to have issues huge. getting value from up there. That was a huge uh, fire shark. Here the Rhine's one. That's a very big uh, purple. Zarya's going to be that, low. That was a good, good and little fire shark. that's going to be a very, very, very big one. That was much faster than we saw from the uh, other team. <laughs> yes, and that's something that we have a lot of issues with defending at the very end. Because it is very difficult to defend. Yeah, no, so you end up just kind of like trickling in. And that's exactly. never what you want to see. Um, and then we've always been special in the team's row. Just kidding. Hi, we're here now. We're going to win. Yeah. 
<laughs> There's not much Which you can we do about saw, it. We saw something very similar to this on King's Row last <laughs> week, where you guys just pushed up and just did not let up. Yeah. Last yeah, week put, was... put one person on the payload that we see right now, and then just... Mm -hmm. And generally, uh, it's going to be one of your supports on the payload. Uh, in this case, it's probably going to be play on the Ana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where they just kind of get to be cart bots, that they're not too much. Just vibing, right? There's been times where uh, I've had to fill for the team I coached on support, and there were a lot of times where I literally just did the city mode or dancey mode on the cart. You weren't gamer enough. Yeah, not really much you can do in that point. Yeah. I might as well. Let's go to watch from Ty's point of view here as he tries to build the rest of that shatter. We tapped it so quickly that the king of shatter building wasn't able to get enough. However, they're going to be able to push pretty hard here. Even without the shield, they should be able to get a lot done here, there especially as they're pressuring their shield. Smart oh. not to shatter with the bot behind you, especially without shield. So I figure he waits for the uh, the window again. Ooh. Is Bob a good ult? Uh, Bob is not a direct damage dealing ult. Usually it is a, um, not sure. Oh, the red flag. We didn't push. Usually more um, to distract your opponent and to basically force them to lift away from you. Force them to take a little bit of pressure off the rest of Okay. Um, it also can help to dump. Ooh, very good. Shot. I, was, I stopped playing a lot whenever Forb got changed. Oh, ah, yeah. That it, it wasn't oh, yeah. because yeah. Forb got changed. It was just twins. Mm -hmm. uh, no shield here. Here's gonna be the shatter pretty quickly here, or not? Yeah. Yeah. There it is. So I wait for the shield to kill it. Ooh, huge. Uh, only one, but that's still gonna be almost. Good. It's gonna be enough. Should be enough. They're gonna. They only have the support plus it's already here. They do have the action back on. Might be seeing the grab use soon. On, I think they'll no, use we'll it soon, just the so then they can push it. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not good saying the spec Ethan. Um, are these. No, no, no he used saying the spec Ethan. Oh. So, honestly, I could see us just taking as much space as possible here, seeing as we have three in the cart. Right Thanks, Landon. Um. And we do have the grab, we have the window, and mm -hmm. of course we have the fire shot. Um, and they don't have any defensive ults to deal with it. They don't have a beat, they don't have a trance, they don't have any mortality from bath. And frankly, we do that, they don't have a chance. And here's going to be coming through. The grab, it only gets one. However, that might be enough to push it, honestly. As it, because it was a Zarya, that was mm -hmm. probably the best thing they could have gotten besides they the run. They do get the res off with the Mercy Trades for life for it. There's going to be three more. Watch, watch it from Ethan's POV. So that is, it looks like most. You can't see much. It's going to be half their team. Flashbang in a uh, Zarya bubble. It's a bit of an interesting strategy, Cotton. Um, no, it's um, for that's content. Already. That's nice. That was a very, very quick push there. 2-0. Nice little 2-0 action so far. Feels good. Let's go, gamers! Alright, I guess we'll watch uh, POTG really quick and then we'll look at our... Uh, bingo. Our bingo. Ooh. Is constantly swinging as Ryan do something? Can't he do like a little bit of like, a push? So, the reason you constantly swing as Ryan, it doesn't steal your speed. There's really no penalty to doing it. Um, yeah. You can immediately get back into your uh, shield. Um, so, it, it just sort of, it's kind of like Brig in that sense where you kind of just don't... You know, there's no reason not to. That's fair. So we did see Rush Comp. We, we saw, saw Rush Comp. King's Row. King's Row. We did see a Shatter blocked. Did we? I believe so. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I was paying attention. It is the uh, mental ooh. game. Want to play <laughs> with me, please? We are currently casting. We're not playing. Weirdly enough, I'm sorry. Um, you how many, how many tracers or Genji's doing it really? Uh, in Colorado, Colorado. Thanks. Both of those make a lot of sense, actually. Yeah. Oh, so do we have anything else? No widow. Mercy dies for res. We did have that. Did we have double shield at all? Not yet. Um. Which, speaking of which, I'm not gonna get too far into the patch notes, but something tells me that with uh, they're buffing May, not in a huge way, mm -hmm. but they're buffing May, they're buffing Reaper, they're buffing Sigma. They already buffed Orisa not too long ago. Okay. I fear that the reign of Orisa Sigma, Ry Reaper May, might be coming back. I'm a big Orisa fan, so I'm okay it with this. It is the most resident sleeper comp Bro, ever. Bro, I, I, I love Orisa. As a main tank, only playing Orisa and just shooting shields. Ball swap to stall. Do we see that? I think we saw it from them in like the first game, didn't we? Did we? I'm pretty sure we saw a ball come in. Okay. 
Someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna exit for now. Three O map score? No, not yet. Nope. Um, I don't think we'll be seeing a three O map score. Um, I don't either. Like I said, we've always had a lot of issues closing out the very, very end of those first points because it is very difficult to defend against all of it. No subs in yet. Right? And I wasn't paying attention close enough. We only take W's. I don't even know what an L is. So I'm going to be guessing we're going to be seeing the double bubble from Simo again here. Um, you don't know what an L is? Yeah, I don't even know what an L is. I mean, let's ignore the fact that we're currently one and one, but you know. Oh, W's and L's. Got it. Yeah. So, I'm going to be guessing <laughs> we're going to be seeing long. double bubble here. Um, at the very least, if not first point, I, then second point. I want double shield, so that way we have a really great chance at bingo. Because then yes. we'd be four in a row. Uh, unfortunately, this is not exactly a... Uh, okay, well, you don't have to crush my ideal dreams. Ideal. You don't have to crush my dreams. It. Yes, I do. It's my no, you don't. So, we're running the wi wine? Ryan Winston again. It's like some cheese with that wine. Of course, please. Um, Jeez, roast us harder, Raleigh. So, Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Seven on our end. That number's always wrong. Oh, yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. ignore it. So, <laughs> this is not quite cleave comp, but it's very similar to cleave comp, where the idea is you run the hey, Ryan Winston. Hey, we have Winston, a Zen. And, um, and the Ryan Winston, the idea is that the Winston jumps in, cleaves in in half. Generally speaking, they'll put a bubble back there to cut off their healing from their Ana, or Baptiste, or whoever it might be. We had the homies coming in late. Homie's what? coming real late. Mm. So, and Ty's going to be looking for some very early boot damage. We do see him kind of lurking. Ty's kind of just lurking, mm -hmm. boy. And again, the Symmetra. Not Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, huge I don't know pick. who did that damage onto him. Let's go switch on over to Ethan here. I don't think it was Ethan. I think it was the freshman. I think it was Ezio. Might have been Ezio. Dude's kind of cracked. You know, he showed up to tryouts basically saying, you know, I'd only been on console before, blah, blah, blah. I really haven't played PC that much. I'm like, eh, okay. We'll see. Honestly, didn't have much of expectations because it's very hard to play DPS um, when you don't really play mouse and keyboard. Yeah, 100%. He walked in on Hanzo and just... But wasn't he... Walked in. He was, like, dummy good on console, right? Didn't, what did uh, you I say? I think he said his peak was low diamond. Low diamond? Okay. Mm -hmm. so definitely not, definitely respectable. Yeah, no, that's good. Oh, I missed the jump. And frankly, your Game update. Sure. Yeah, no. In text form. <laughs> Probably definitely can't see uh, us right now, I don't think. We've been having to relate stuff to and chat. It's cringe. Um, but we're going to be seeing this first push. You know, and we're doing a very good job of giving up space when we need to. Um, and the, the reason you do that is... You'd rather give up bump, a little bump. bit of space now than get too much and give up a whole crap time. You'd rather just yeah. wait for 15 seconds. That's going to be... Ooh, barely. Ty's kind of throwing, I don't know. Ty throwing, Ty throwing, Ty throwing, Ty throwing. I need to see there it in chat. There goes order to keep himself away. So, alive. Yeah, you'll see it in chat in three minutes. Yeah, perfect. That's all I need. The sim just going into space there for a second. Dear lord. How Everyone. many beams does this match have? Dear lord. You. Looked like a light show there for a second. Honestly, it, as much as I wish there was, there's really not too terribly much to analyze. Um, we're not, we're not really having to play all that strategically right now. Um, Why is he adding us, Raleigh? What do you want? Why? Wow. <laughs> um, and it is just sort of one of those things where we're not having to play all that strategically. It's. At this point, it's kind of a game of we're putting pressure on them at different angles, and they're sort of falling apart. And this is what I was telling you about at the very beginning, where a lot of teams that haven't done as much so far haven't been able to do much. Uh, they're putting pressure them out of their comfort zone. Ooh, nice headshot onto that Zarya. And that Symmetra wall is going to do a bit in order to delay us from pushing directly into them for a second, however. Uh, you know, Dorado is a very punishing uh, if you're not coordinated. Uh, so we haven't we haven't seen Drado, I don't think. I don't or maybe we did so. we one week. We might have seen it week one. But it's been a minute if we have. So and it's a very punishing map to attack on in that this choke directly below where um we're standing. Are there only certain maps that GG League plays? Yes, there's three maps of each game. Okay. So we won't be seeing like certain maps like mm -hmm. ever. 
Trying charging for some reason at level. This is sort of what I'm talking about. Um, they're playing a lot scattered. They're all playing almost with like a solo queue mentality. I say it's almost like they are just trickling in, like we were talking about earlier, kind of thinking we well, might see from them. Not necessarily, and I don't want to necessarily say they're tilted because I don't. I don't think yeah, they're don't tilted. Think I'm just saying I think it's. A I little, think they're um. Just not coordinated. Like, not coordinated. Coordinating their I think they're getting a bit flustered. Yeah. Um, you're seeing a lot of behavior that you see from a lot of players whenever they start getting really flustered in trying to pull out a little bit more carries on their own while leaving their team behind. Yeah, thinking, okay, I'm just gonna go and get a little charge and then full reset. And then usually that just ends up. They did more. get the uh, they did get first point, which isn't great to see for us. However, I mean ults. We're looking yeah. at three, three ults, almost, almost four. four, so that's pretty solid. Clay should be getting his ult soon. Go on bubble. Ooh. Ooh. Don't like that fight. But it's gonna be uh, to it, was, like it was mostly, I think, just to uh, make sure he didn't die. Mm -hmm. And he went in deep knowing that. Yeah. And, I mean, that was a good push. They a got, lot of I, it, you know, a lot of it is just going to be the cleanup here. I almost want to see him shatter just for the DM. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yikes. Honestly, if, if it were tied in the Ryan there, I think we would have seen it. The shatter? Yeah, I think we would have. Yeah. I think we would have seen a shatter teabag. That would have been two different I'll be honest, uh, I would have done it. <laughs> Especially with where we're currently at, I wouldn't blame them. We are kind of vibing on these points right now. Then I want to point out something. Ooh, okay. Nice. Um, with Chandler on the path here, he's playing a little bit more in the back and he's playing a lot more reserve, which is what you want to be doing, especially against the trade. It gives you a little bit more mobility, a little bit more uh, options and maneuverability to play around. I don't know, can you count that as a flaw? He's still got one of us, but he blocked it from hitting the rest of us. Um, I mean, yeah, it was nice to see. Ooh, it was definitely helpful for our push. Uh, and that's gonna be down. That was Clay. That feels bad. I, I think what's happening is that we're starting to get a bit cocky. We're zoning out a bit. Um, yeah. Which Not happened. coordinating as well. And, and that's yeah. what I was saying, where we didn't really have to build it strategically, and as such, you start of getting a little bit more relaxed with how you play. You don't play quite as tight together. You don't play quite as uh, refined or precise. Or... Can I have you, uh, nobody say it? That's so messed up. Um, three minutes ago, Titor. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, anyways. Uh, the... I gotta ask. Just, to, I want your explanation just so people know, can kind of understand it. What's up with the jump shield? Is that just uh, like better movement speed? So, yeah, you, what it does is it's a good balance between having your shield up and the movement speed. Yeah. Whenever you jump with your shield Ooh, down, Ooh, that's huge! Your, yes, it is. That was a five, man, I think. Four or five. They do have the beat to come in. However, they also need the uh, coalescence to keep them up even through the beat. So both the portal for just a shatter, I will take it. Yeah, that's even huge. Even if we did use the window. And that's... That's it. Yeah. That's huge. That's a bit dirty. But the whole idea between the jump uh, jump shield, whenever you jump and have your shield up, you still maintain the momentum that you had. That's you it. Have that's what I thought. And because shield, like if you have your shield up, you're much slower. Um, and since Ryan's one of those heroes where mechanically he's very simple, there's a lot of techs that are involved with it. Um, that's one of them. There's the fact that if you turn your screen just a little bit so where you're getting diagonal, you actually have a bit more reach, which okay. is a bit strange. Um, and you can sort of swing through corners. There's a lot of really weird techs that people have found. Out. I see they most, found it pretty much immediately. I'll say, are most of them glitches that just haven't been patched? Or, or is really it like... Know. Or is it a lot of just very clever ways of using it in game mechanics? I think it's a glitch in the sense that I don't think they purposely did it. But, but it's still in the, the game. Yeah, but it's still in the game. So, like, what are you going to do about At it? At this point, they're such Ooh, a nice little double kill. Mm -hmm. uh, old. From uh, the Ezio the freshman. Nope, oh, that's gonna be Ethan. How dare you? No, that was. Didn't, that's, 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 that's what I said. Oh, what? Sorry, it was a double kill. I said it was a double kill from the freshman. Ignore me, yeah. I'm dumb dumb. I would never. Ethan, what you doing? He's <laughs> he almost got caught out. He almost got caught in the door. He said, I'm just hiding, <laughs> bro. Don't worry about it. Hiding their back line. Get him a little bit deep. Might work out here. Might be able to finish off the soldier. At the very least, that's it's gonna cause a lot of chaos. A lot of chaos, a lot of uh, unwanted That's a big from shatter them. as well. Just put him in disarray. Ooh. Directly into their back line. And that's going to be a nice stop before the end of the map once again. So far, it's been very similar to the King Drone. Team oh. kill to end the round. We got two team kills in the last mm -hmm. two rounds. That's nice. So, 
this was very similar to King's Row in a lot of ways. It took them a lot of time to push through that first point. They push relatively easily through the second, and then they get stopped about halfway through the third. Yeah. Um, Dorado is one of those weird maps where there's a lot of small variations in how you play it. Um, from OMG first point Simo. To second point. Um, from first to second point to third point, the way you played it is a bit different. It's like, when did they make that window smaller? <laughs> <laughs> tie throwing tie throwing tie throwing tie throwing um you know there's a clip i need to show you i can't remember which overwatch league or uh, it was but on um nepal sanctum up here. Oh, up with me. the inside nepal map where he kept trying to jump through the side um off the point above i can show you the clip later but mm -hmm. it took him like three tries to try to do it and he was getting killed it was funny because it's in an overwatch league match yeah, so i was like professional mm -hmm. we're gonna be saying pretty much the same comp however clay is gonna be on moira that's interesting Bro, honestly i don't think to it's play. gonna matter too much I hate moira, to play against moira. Mm -hmm. we don't really have a interesting oh, interesting with winston here uh, so your Winston, our Winston here is not gonna have too terribly much support. Okay. Oh, okay. They switched to the That's yeah, good. That makes more sense. <laughs> How much you want to bet though? Is Ty saying, uh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> hey Alberto, what you doing there, buddy? In the chat. Hey Alberto. Uh, a bit but, weird. Like, like you play a game. All right. Play video game. Yeah, yeah. Play the game. Tap back <laughs> in. Stop throwing. Actually, give us viewers. Uh, you guys got this one without you. <laughs> Ooh, nice yeah, little alert. Uh, so he's already going to be up for the 20% of the bolt here, uh, providing he survives. And that's a lot of the name of the game. Not necessarily double the bolt alone. But again, the cleave comp for the cleave variants, where mm. you don't have as much head long pressure, right? It's not Ryan's Getting up to die. 50. That's pretty They've cool. got that May. You know, the May Hanzo has a lot of damage in these games. So, and that's. You don't have as much head headlong pressure as you do with, like, say, Ryan's Dark or Ryan Sigma, a lot of these different comps. However,. You have a lot more, not necessarily powerful ultimates, but more commanding ultimates. We're seeing that, that you get quicker. <laughs> um, in the form of Primal, um, in a coordinated use, you can push a team into your backline. You can yeah. cut off a support. You can do a lot with it. Uh, it's really to the limit of your ability to juggle, which is quite difficult, honestly. Hanzo's dead. Poor guy. What? When? I did melee? That's kind of weird. Could have killed him by melee. Tie throwing. A bit. You're going to see the melee wall. You're going to oh. click it. Yep. However, I think we're going to be fine. May's going to be down to one using her ice block. You're going to be seeing Ty or Alberto charging a shadow here while we're coming up on a lot of ultimates here. Yeah. That's going to be nice to see. Watch Ezio here. I say as he misses every shot. There he goes. There you go. So it's a bit of an interesting use of coalescence there. Um, ooh, May. Another In ice the ice block. So the reason I say it's interesting is it was a 3v6. I think they're trying to desperately stabilize. I'm not sure if it'll be enough. However, that hit punch of the Tracer might make it enough with the Blizzard as well. No mortality field. And yeah, it was a good use of the coalescence. Yeah. yeah. I think Seamus is going to see a full reset here. Mm -hmm. And let's look at our ults here. We have everything other than Pulse and Primal. And both of those will charge pretty quickly. That's it. And I mean... Um, what I think you're going to be seeing here is probably a window fire strike. You don't really need the grab here, provided you aim the fire strike well enough. Um, because you do have the Hanzo who gets one shot by you. You have Lucio and Moira who both get one shot. It knocks off half of everybody else's health. Um, I'll say, if we see uh maybe, I mean, yeah, we don't really need the grab. Mm -hmm. Oh, we switched off. Uh, we did, yeah, we uh, did switch over. Okay, interesting. Which is what it probably should have been done here. But if we can see that uh, window fire strike. Maybe mm -hmm. add in the uh. Did I break the wall? Ooh, you see the maze one shooter? There you go. Don't need anything else. They're investing a lot of ults into an already lost fight. That's very yeah. good for us. Alberto just said, "Nah, <laughs> 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 nah, this is my game. You're living in it." <laughs> it's good to see that uh, you know, Alberto wasn't sure he's was gonna be starting, and then you said, "Hey, I'm a cast. You have fun," <laughs> and he's still playing um, very well. So it's a good thing he was right. He's definitely, you know, the whole team has improved a lot. Um, it's even the beginning of the semester. We dropped off um, compared to the end of last semester, but of course, we have a couple uh, console players that haven't been able to play. So, a couple of the console players couldn't play. That was a little bit of a bad pulse, but uh, can't, yeah, can't win them all. Cool down. Yeah. Um, Essentially. So, we did have a bit of a drop off at the very beginning of the semester, but we very quickly got back up to where we were, and we're back to the Oh! <laughs> 
feels bad. <laughs> oh, the poor man. He's crying right now. Poor one out for the homie. See, here comes the. Yep, I was about to say, Deadeye's about to come through. He's going to use the Drake shield. Ryan's very low, has no shield. Should die, but he doesn't. Yeah, he healed hard right there. Yeah, he healed hard, however, nobody shot him. It was like 30 health. Jeez. I think they that's going to be the downfall. Sigma does still have two and a half minutes, though. If they get a nice little reset yeah, here. It's actually even here. We do still have the window. We can push this. They lost yeah. to Ryan. They have very little frontline presence. I don't think they have grab. Ooh, nice. The dragon that was mostly. A good old. I mean, I don't know. We're not old. That was good immortality. Big shatter. That's gonna be good. Good job. Get rid of that Ana. That's or no Mora. That's all that matters. Now we got second Mora half, player, resident sleeper. Resident sleeper. Do I hate Mora? You know, I find I it like funny. her as a I like her as a character, but I hate playing mm -hmm. her way, or playing against her. I find it funny because way back in the day, um, there was a cop called resident sleeper. It's basically, anything with Zarya and Hanzo in. Grab Dragon was considered resident sleep. It was considered boring, considered horrible. And then, little did we know, that double shield would come along. <laughs> Is that big resident sleeper? Oh god, it's horrible. <laughs> and I think it's where we're heading again, and it's just, it's pain. Nice. <laughs> he slept. Uh, I like he slept and I'm watching Ethan here. That's Thinking funny. he's going to go for the triple point for pulse spawn here. I want to see it happen. I want to see the style points. Come the on. Spray. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got it. Go for it. Be aggro. Do it. Dude, there's so many right there. No, you, didn't, you missed your, okay. you missed your okay. Q button, gonna switch off of him. I'm going to use it the second we switch off of him. Though. Ooh, that was eaten. Sleep dark eaten stuff. Mm -hmm. the shield. Pumping a lot of healing into Alberto here. And a big anti onto the Rhine. It is potential that we get the pick here, provided we can keep simply up here. Oh, feels Not bad. Not quite. In another oh, I missed the sleep. However, we have basically two minutes with every ult that is not space. nano to push it, what, 20 feet? Yeah, I say we don't need a lot here. No, grab, it's Grab window 30, fire strike. But close. Oh, yeah. So it's grab window fire strike here, um, and that's really all we need. We also have grab dragon, we have grab pulse, we have grab press all the ultimate buttons, and one of them will kill them. <laughs> of course, of course. That's all that matters. Um, you hit your honestly, I, I kind of want to see it because oh, of the beat. That's, grab. And the grab only got the line. Womp womp. Feels bad. But just throw Ooh, all the other. Interesting use of that. Just throw all the other ults. It's fine, guys. Just do it. Just press Q. Smile. Press Q. Everyone press Q, please. You are pressing Q hard enough. Guys, press now they're getting cornered by the dragon. Guys, please walking directly into it. Guys, press Q harder, please. Ooh. Oh, did you still yeah, shatter? that was. It, that was quite interesting. Um. The grab there was he only wants, getting one. He wants to get out. He wants to die there. I mean, you know, it's unfortunate that grab only got the Rhine there. That would have been the end of the map had it got him more. We still got. Let's bully tie everybody. Tie throwing. Of course, you do still have you know over a minute to get. You have over a minute. You still have two ults here, almost three in the form of pulse bomb. And all it's going to take is Alberto getting a good shatter. They use feet, I believe, if I remember correctly. Which means that anything in the way of ult defensive ults besides full essence can be gone. I think they might have used full essence. They did. They He's did looking for the shatter. He's looking for it. He needs it right now. But, oh, wait. Hold on. What? They just let us have it. Oh! What are they doing? They just. They what put, are they doing? They fell back way too far. They just let us have it. What? I mean. I think, honestly, I think they forgot where the map ended. I just heard our team also be very confused. Yeah, they were very quite confused about it. <laughs> Jump. That's gonna be a quick 3-0 right there. That's a, oh, they even let's see POTG. But yeah, they're they're a bit upsetty. A bit feels, upsetty feel, that feels a little bad, man. All um, right. If someone, five dollars if someone can tell me how it ends, dude, I can. Wait, hold on, give me a sec. <laughs> um. Uh, here, here, hold up. Let me let me say something. There you go for it. How, how it how it ends? How it ends? <laughs> Tie throwing, um, but we did get a few more bingos. I'd like to point out, or not bingos. Yeah, yeah. Let, let, let we, what do we see here? So grab gets nothing for all intents and purposes. We got grab dragon. We did. Mhm. Mm um. Um. I think that might have been it. No, we saw something. Hold on. There was something we saw before that we didn't count until after. No, I think I think we're talking about rush comp, and we got that immediately afterwards. 
I don't think Do we think Grub gets nothing? Are we counting Tide? Not. I think we count that. Yeah. I'm I counting think we count it. that. Counting yeah. It. Didn't see double shield, sadly. No game pause or anything. What is this? Gibraltar. Gibraltar. Watch point Gibraltar. I don't even know that that's in the map pool. Oh, good. I don't know. It might be. <laughs> I, I think I think Landon might be smart. He should be smart enough to check the um, rules, rules book. Eh. I would assume so. <laughs> smart. Um. <laughs> he is a Lucio player. <laughs> Feels bad. Um, what am I going to go for? Of course. Of course. For the last little part of the stream. Uh, get the All glasses right. on. Get the glasses right. on. You owe me, you guys owe me $10 each for paying them to play May. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. So before we leave, Red Bull. I think I haven't drank it already? <laughs> uh, this is why we don't let Larson cast. But uh, anyways, a few little last minute things before mm -hmm. we head out for the night. Uh, Red Bull Campus Clutch. Sign up for the tournament. It's free. Exclamation mark Red Bull. I'll even do it for you guys. Uh... But it's just a Valorant tournament. It's happening on March 23rd. I think it's like an all-day event. You get free Red Bull <laughs> if you play, so why not? You know, you have the chance to win some other cool gear as well. And everybody you'll be playing against on this date will be other CMO students. Yeah, so for this tournament, it'll be all CMO students. If you win, you get to go to a bigger tournament against a bunch of bigger schools and to be super cool, super mm -hmm. pog champ. Almost the coolest thing these classes. Yeah, nearly. If you go, if you come to the arena, we'll give you one of these little door hanger things because we have a bunch of them and we don't know what to do with them. So come to the arena, you get one, you can scan the QR code, super simple. Um, besides that, what else we got going on? Um, the chirp. If you haven't watched the chirp yet, go watch that Absolutely. so you guys can get your uh, weekly announcements. That's super cool. The guy was supposed to go over the cart, but it hit Ryan's shield. Oh, that makes sense. In other words, what I'm hearing is Ty throwing. Ty throwing, yeah. 100%. Of course. And it did get nothing, so. Absolutely. <laughs> um, let's see, anything else? Follow us on YouTube. You see all of our VODs there, so mm -hmm. this will be on YouTube. So check that out. Check our Twitter. Join you Discord. Can check, you can check out last week's 3-0 as well. Yeah. Even bigger 3-0, honestly. Three, that one three could have been, been an <laughs> easy... Easy clap. It was just a bit. <laughs> Not to be him too hard. Yeah. Uh, you can follow me pretty much everywhere. It's DJ Healy. I don't know what you are on your socials. Uh, Alto himself. Usually. Alto himself. Yeah. Nice. Nice. They deserve the question mark. <laughs> but uh, no bingo this week, sadly. However, mm -hmm. stay tuned next week and maybe we'll see one. But anyways, guys, I'm, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. I've been told if we get one, eventually we'll get a sub. Like someone will gift a sub. Mm -hmm. So it could be fun. But anyways, that's it for me. We'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure if Call of Duty is happening yet still because me and Corey can't cast, so we might get other casters or we might just not do it. Won't be me. I don't know. Jack. <laughs> we don't either. <laughs> <laughs> let's see you guys. Have a good night.